Hello everyone and welcome to this recording of the PA Creelink uh, system. My name is Nick and I'll be running you through the system today. Um, for this recording, uh, this is mainly meant for people who have already created their Creelink account and have done those initial steps with their Keystone ID and password and all that. If you're not sure what I'm talking about, if you're not sure what this Keystone ID or password is, um, then I ask you to please visit our PA Creelink Lehigh Valley site and click right in this top banner here. And it's going to take you some resources, particularly these two pieces of contact information, our toll-free helpline, and our email. So if you have no idea what a Keystone ID is or anything what I'm talking about or never have seen this site before, then please call them first, get your account set up, and then come back to this video at a later date. But for everyone else, we'll get started. So this video is meant to walk you through the PA Creelink system and show you all of the important benefits. We certainly won't be going over every single last thing on the system today, but just the most important uh, items I thought to go over. So to get started, we'll simply just sign in with our account, whatever that may be. Again, if you're not sure what that is, or if you do know what it is, but then it comes to be that your password's incorrect and you don't remember what it's supposed to be, please call that helpline or email that help email and someone will get in contact with you to help you out getting that all sorted out. So this is the PA Creelink dashboard. This is your home page of sorts. So we'll go over some things on here first before we hop into some of these other tabs up here. Particularly what we're gonna go over is this section in the center here, which is sort of your job search slash dashboard homepage like area, like I said before. But here you can get right to job searching um, and it's just like how Indeed or Monster or ZipRecruiter or LinkedIn will work. Those are their job search engines where you can put in a job title and then you can put in an area. You can put it by city or even just put in your zip code, whatever works better for you. And then you can search for jobs by going over here. The Creelink system has this great search tips button over here. If you click that. It's going to give you more of an idea how you may want to search. It can make it for a more efficient search. Uh, certainly, you know, time is money and we want to get, you know, hopefully applications out there. So this is a great way to uh, better your search results if you want to do that. Down below, there will be some recommendations. Uh, right now, there aren't any recommendations for me at this point. Um, but with some job search and all of that, it will uh, populate some recommendations based on the jobs you're searching. So for example, if I were to search nurse and or other medical jobs, I would get nurse and or other medical jobs down here, or at least something similar to that if there's not a lot of that kind of job out at the moment. To the left of this job recommendations box, you have some of these icons here. Uh, the mail and alert icon here, the little bell, uh, is also available up here in the top right hand corner. Uh, but you can see it down here in your dashboard as well. You have a calendar icon for any events you might attend uh, virtually at this point, but hopefully one day soon they will be uh, in person as well. You have another area for job recommendations, another area to access your resume, which we'll go over in just a bit here. On the right of the job recommendations bar, we have a little tracking area here. So it's tracking how many searches you're doing a week out of five. You have your saved searches which we'll go over in just a second. And then your general job search activity, telling you what applications you've done, what uh, websites you visited, and a link to all of your activity. On the very right, there's some information right here. If you're in a program of sorts, like unemployment compensation, for example, you would, be, you would see some information right here with any actions you needed to do. Another area for your calendar, again, upcoming and as well as your calendar, you just simply need to click on the item that's grayed out to see it. And then the PA Creelink Lehigh Valley uh, address information and contact information, as well as our hours. So before we hop on this, hop off of this, I should say, I do wanna go into the saved searches. And to do that, I'm actually gonna go up here to my job search. So my job search, when you hover over it without clicking, is going to be one of the more important, if not the most important areas of the Creelink system. You'll spend most of your time with these tabs you see before you. And you see that one of the tabs is saved searches, just as we see on the front page here. 
So these are searches that this account, or you in this case, could save uh, if you wanted to go back into it. Because for example, let's say I clicked on one of these searches by clicking on update search. I can see all these filters to my left. And you can do this in the main job search area. I know what didn't show it when we were on the home page, but if you did want to do, go to find this area, all you need to do is just go back to the save searches and go back through the same way I did just before. And you'll find all of these filters. But let's say you didn't want to go through every single time and check these filters. You know, maybe I wanted to change this filter, you know, maybe add some sort of other thing over it. Maybe I'm looking for more recent jobs. Maybe I'm looking for something closer from home. It's not like I'm finding everything here, unfortunately. Um, and I wanted to look for nurse jobs within that area there. I can click search. And then let's say I wanted to keep these settings here, or if I wanted to reset some of the settings here, it's gonna change everything for me there. I can make it, you know, to a specific county if I wanted to, specific companies. Maybe I wanted to look at the working at Lehigh Valley Health Network in this case. And if it loads like that, just give it some time. It will load, a, just so don't let it go past. I can look in the salary. Maybe I'm only looking for a full-time job, ideally. And so on and so forth. So what you can do is save this search, either by clicking updated save search or save search if you're starting a new one. And you can title it whatever you want. Maybe now it's going to be, instead of truck driver, I'm saying nurse search. Maybe I want to date it so I remember when I did it. And if I wanted to, I can click here to receive email updates or display jobs at recommendations. It gives me a little message that nurse search was saved. And if I go back up to my job search, oh, it already did it for me. So we can see that it has populated down here. So that's a great way to save your searches and not have to go through that process of updating all of the filters again. Again, if I click update search, I'm going to find that all my searches I put in seven days, Northampton, Leah Valley Network, and full time have all stayed the same. I'm seeing the same kinds of jobs within those parameters. That's essentially the job search function in a quick nutshell. There are certainly other facets to it, but those are the main things that I think you would need to know to effectively job search on the Crowlink system. No job search is welcome without a resume, though, so that's the next thing we want to talk about. If we go back up to my job search, we see we have my PA Crewlink resume here. This is something that you should have done already when you created your account. It's one of the first things they'll have you do before you really even get into it. Um, so do make sure that this resume is well written and up to date um, because this is something that you will likely use for applications on here. So you definitely want to fill this out and make sure it's there. Now this isn't the only resume you have to use. Again, this is sort of within our system. But you can have Word document resumes on here. If you go to resume list here, you'll see a sort of section here where you can have a list of resumes. The PA Crewlink resume will always be here. But if you did want to add something else, like a Word document resume, you can simply click here, upload, and fill it in here, and it will track everything of that nature there. So you can have different kinds of resumes in different kinds of formats other than the PA Crewlink resume. We go back up to my job search. We can also see back over to job search. We can see save jobs. So if there are any jobs that you liked and you wanted to save, you can see them all here. Um, saving a job simply just comes down to clicking on a job uh, title or a job uh, application. And there should be a little save job icon over here in the right hand corner. You click on that, the star. Uh, brightens yellow or golden I should say and you can also see it up here as well under the star here you might have noticed that when I clicked save job that number up there changed to two I can show you it again and how that changes right there so you know what you're doing of course we have our save searches we don't over that um, this is the area I was speaking of earlier to get to this more specific job search area. So if you did want to start out with all the filters in place rather than on the home page where it doesn't have all that stuff, this is where you can go. 
You can go to job applications to see what applications you have put in. And it's going to, again, going to track everything for you nice and neat. We have job search activities, which was everything with the tracking. So this is further on that tracking bit we saw on the dashboard. So not only is it tracking applications and job websites visited, but all these other areas. And this is everything that's specific to the CareerLink website. So if you're doing job search on Indeed or Monster or LinkedIn, for example, and wanted to track that information too in one nice and neat area, simply just click this add new activity button and we'll ask you to follow a set of steps. You know, what kind of thing are you tracking? You can click continue and it's gonna give you this form here uh, to fill out everything so it can be tracked along with everything. That's perfectly up to you um, if you wanted to do that. Uh, but that is a nice way to keep everything nice and neat together. One other thing I want to point out is the date range here. Sometimes this date range is only a matter of days for whatever reason. So if you go on your website and you're saying, oh, what are those jobs I applied for the other day? And you don't see them, don't panic. It's probably just because you have to change a date range. Simply just click this drop down arrow and you can select a number of options from last week to all job searches or simply by putting in your custom range. You can put in the actual dates in these boxes if you want, or simply click on the calendar icon, and it's going to open up this nice little calendar box. Of course, if you want to open it up a little larger, we can do that. The calendar won't really change, this, uh, change the size of it, but the box will change its size. And you can click whatever date you want to set. So maybe you know I wanted to go back and see where I applied from the beginning of May to, I can go back to my box over here perhaps the end of May. You know, what, what jobs did I do? I click apply and change the jobs uh, different. Again, this is a dummy account, so there's not gonna be a lot of job activity on here, um, but you, you would get the idea from this uh, demonstration. And lastly is browse for jobs by category. So if you're really up in the air about what kind of job you wanna work and you're not really sure, as many people who come to the CareerLink are, this is a great way to sort of narrow some searches down or be, begin your search. You can search by the occupation, you can search by the city and company, and you can search by the county. So that's a great way to get yourself started on job search. Next to the job search tab is an events tab. Now this tab probably won't be as used as much since many, if we go to search events, we can see that there are none because many events aren't happening at the moment due to the current pandemic. But it is important to pay attention to this area as well as the My Calendar area, as there may be virtual events that will happen, such as virtual job fairs, virtual workshops, virtual webinars, so on and so forth. So do familiarize yourself with this area uh, just in case for the future. And certainly um, once the career link opens back up, when we're back in the building and hopefully starting with some small uh, socially distant events. Career services is a nice little catch-all area of a bunch of different areas on here. I won't go over everything on here, but there's a couple of things I do like to go over. First and foremost, our veteran services. This is a great tab for all of our veterans who may be watching this. I do recommend that you really go through this tab and look for all, all the information you can get for help. Particularly is this military translator. Uh, something I talk about a lot in my resume classes is the need to translate acronyms and even just general acronyms even if you're not in the military. Um, many recruiters and HR people and employers may not be wholly familiar with everything even if, if it's in their field as they may be just an HR person not actually working within that field. So I always recommend people is make sure you explain those acronyms or those shorthands or, there's, or those titles for, uh, for different types of tools. And the military does love their acronyms, so please use this little tool here. You can select your branch and select your military code or keyword, and it's gonna give you a nice translation that you can help put on your resume. Some other things in career services, one is the skills assessment area. Now this area is particularly for something called Torque. You can see the title of that right here. Torque is a system that CareerLink uses to help look at uh, transferable job skills. Um, it's a great tool to use in my opinion. It's a great way, to, especially again, for those people who are not wholly certain what kind of job they're looking for, to get some ideas. Basically what it's going to do for you is it's going to uh, ask you to put in the details essentially of your resume, more specifically your past jobs. And it's gonna 
measure those skills against skills in other areas that you might be interested in, other jobs that might interest you. And it's going to show you how prepared you are for those types of positions. We won't really go into detail about that system here, but if you did want to learn more about it, back on our website, if you go to the Job Seekers tab, there's this area about a couple ways down called Online Workshops and Resources. Click right there. And this is where a lot of our public workshops are housed, one of them being the Torque Workshop. Clicking on this box or this plus button will open up this section and you can watch a video narrated by me on the Torque Workshop and how to access the Torque Workshop. So in this workshop, I show you how to access it, I show you how to use it, um, and it's all well and good. There's also a PowerPoint created by one of my colleagues that will help you even further if you still need some assistance after this video. Other than that, uh, in career services, the last thing I do like to go over, um, if you go down to programs and services, it's a little form where you can fill out if you didn't want to, if you were interested in any of these services, if you knew about them already, or if you learned about them through one of our other staff here, uh, you could fill out this form if you so choose, and we can get in contact with you about your request for services. These other tabs are somewhat self-explanatory about us. We'll give you some more contact information and policies. Help will give you some more general help for the website. Now, I just want to clarify, this is solely for the website. Um, there may not be a lot of uh, human feedback that you get from this. I do recommend if you do want some sort of direct connection with someone is going to our website and following that uh, helpline and email I sent earlier, I wouldn't go through the curling system to get in contact with us. And then there is this Espanol, so if, you use, if uh, Spanish is your preferred language, click on right there, and it is going to change everything into Spanish, which is nice and neat and does it very quickly, and you can see everything in your preferred language. I will switch back to English because I do not speak Spanish, um, so we'll hop back into English for that one. Up here we have the icons we saw before. We have our search icon, another way to search for jobs. You want to do it really quickly. Our save jobs icon. Of course, if we had more than two, we can go over here and view all of them. Our mail, our notifications. And then this area over here with a little person icon there. It's going to say hi in your name. In this case, the dummy account's name is Joe. And this is where you can find all of your account information. So your personal information, your, your preferences for your account. You can change your password as well as change your question and answer uh, questions for your password and your security. And the log out button is here as well. When you're done on this website, you can log out so no one can get into your account. Lastly, clicking on this button or clicking on the curling symbol will take you back to the dashboard. And that is essentially the curling system in a nutshell. So I hope this video was helpful. Again, I didn't go over everything, so there will be some things on here that you haven't seen me go over. Um, just feel free to play around with that. That is a nice uh, part of this uh, pandemic and the quarantine is we do have the time to sort of play around these things. Of course, if you have any questions, please direct those to helpline on the Krilling system and our front end staff will be happy to help you. Other than that, I hope you are all staying safe and healthy. I hope this again, this video helped and as I always like to end my videos, keep on keeping on, everyone. Thank you.